For 12 years, the Dokrat family and their community of farmers have been making a living on these plots. The river is a source of irrigation and sustenance for many in the area. But two weeks ago, hundreds of dead fish washed up on dark, polluted water from the Henops River. These farmers say what was once one of the cleanest rivers in Gauteng is now a bed of contamination, posing a great health hazard and threat to agriculture in the region. This year was the worst. We lost about 300 carp, uh, 300 big carp. University of Pretoria, a year or two back, visited my neighbor's plot where they uh, took samples of the, of the river water and uh, they, they, they conclusively came to us with evidence that the water toxicity levels is about a thousand times over. The water stench is nothing new, with locals saying calls to local government have yielded little response. The Henops River flows through Centurion and converges with the Crocodile River and the Hard to be a poor Dam. The Twine City Council is said to have over 60 boreholes in the area, which provide drinking water to surrounding households. So there's huge volumes of sewage running down all the time. So the whole problem is that it's going into the ground water. It's um, polluting the whole, um, the whole reservoir of, of drinking water that we've got left. So apparently it's almost 40% of our reservoirs are in this um, underground water of the cradle system. So we're facing a, a big crisis. Two months ago, I cleaned this whole dam here. And uh, it had about like a, a finger full of water, the rest was all sludge. So uh, in this dam it took me about a month to clean it out with heavy uh, machinery. So yeah, this is basically a big problem. Behind me is the Sunderland Wastewater Treatment Works. It's located just a few kilometers from the Henops River plots. Farmers here say that this is a source to all their water woes. And for some years now, the plant has not been operating at full capacity. The plant was designed to treat 25 megalitres of sewage. But this is the final product. Government says current volumes are exceeding capacity due to urbanisation and informal settlements. They've also blamed cable theft for out-of-action plants. Because if those plants are unable to source the energy that they require through electricity, or if the pumps have been vandalized, we are unable to operate the plants optimally. And hence, part and parcel of the process to ensure that the plants are functional is to get citizens and the communities on board. The department says it's issued a new directive to the city of Twane to treat the water in the area. Lauren Rose Joseph, Hartebeespoor Dam.